Welcome, this is a short tutorial on how to access Iowa Grants. First, go ahead and navigate to iowagrants.gov. Once you get to iowagrants.gov, go ahead and click on the blue button that states click here to access the single sign-on tool. Now, at this time, I just wanna give you a friendly reminder, do not use the box, enter your user ID and password or the yellow button that says click here to register. Please ignore those two items on this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here to access my single sign-on tool. Now you have accessed the single sign-on page. Now, if you do not have an account, go ahead and click sign up at the bottom. Notice where it says, do not have an account, click sign up. Go ahead and click sign up. Go ahead and enter your first name. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate a trainer account today and enter in your last name. Go ahead and put in an email address. This could be any email address, the email address that you have access to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a trainer account in here, a valid email address. So once you have the first name, last name, and email in the appropriate boxes, go ahead and click sign up. Now this following screen will not appear for most of you. However, some of you may realize or may not realize that you have currently an id.iowa.gov account already set up using some of our other state of Iowa applications. How will you know if you have an account set up? You would get an error message much like this. It says a user with this email already exists. So if you receive this error, no worries, go back and click on already have an account. Go ahead and use that same email address that you just typed in and click next. And then you would be asked to enter in your password and continue on to the dashboard. If for some reason you might've forgotten your password or maybe unable to log in, you can go ahead and click forgot password in the password page, or you can go back to sign in. And if you need to unlock your account, you could go ahead and do so. Now we're gonna go continue on for those that do not have an email address in the id.iowa.gov and continue on with that process. Now, you are asked to set up security methods. You, there is no wrong way to set this up, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the recommended way. Go ahead and select the option password. Go ahead and click set up underneath password. Now you'll notice there are some password requirements. Go ahead and make sure you review those password requirements and go ahead and enter a password and then re-enter a password. Once you've entered a password and re-enter password, go ahead and click next. Now you are doing the next step, which is to verify your email. This is where you're going to navigate to your current email box, look for an email from id.gov, and you will go ahead and find a verification code. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm currently in my current email system, which is Gmail, but this would work for any email system. You would get an email from admin at iid.iowa.gov. Once you open that email, you will see a one-time code. You can quickly just copy that code or memorize it and go ahead and go back to the screen that you currently were on and enter in that code. I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to the id.gov and go ahead and enter that code and click verify. If for some reason you didn't get it, go ahead and click send again if you want to have it be sent to your inbox. You might wanna check your spam or other folders within your inbox, but it should come in directly to your email. I'm gonna go ahead and click verify. Now this page is to set up additional security methods. Now what this is, is just to give you one more additional security method to identify who you are. We strongly encourage maybe to check out set up phone, if you choose to, that's the most common one. You're used to these multi-factor authentication, especially in financial institutions. So again, just add an extra set of layer of security if you choose to. You could choose phone if you want. The other one that we recommend is OctaVerify. But again, not required, but maybe strongly encouraged. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and click set up later, and then I will be currently signed into Iowa Grants. Now this page will vary per user. This is an example of a brand new user to Iowa Grants. They will be asked to complete the registration portion, which is this particular page. However, some of you will fall under the bucket of actually already having 
an Iowa grant account and you will be prompted to a brand new page which will get you directly where you need to go. Before I end this video, I strongly encourage you to check out the resources below in the description to learn more on how to get signed into Iowa grants. Thank you so much.